On this episode of At The D Spot, we're making some empanadillas de pastelón. Let's go. For a full list of ingredients, be sure to check the description box below. If you're new to At The D Spot, be sure to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified every time I drop a new video. If you're a returning D-Star, thank you so much for your continued support, and I love you guys. So pastelón is a Puerto Rican lasagna that's made with sweet plantain or maduro instead of pasta. And I made one for the channel a while ago. You can look in the description box for a link to that video. So I've got all the ingredients for my pastelón, but I'm gonna make a deconstructed pastelón in an empanada shell or empanadilla or a pastelillo. There's many names for it, but I'm so excited to share this dish with you. So on our stove, we have our frying pan set to medium heat. We're gonna add our one pound of ground beef to the pan. Now it's time for us to start working on our maduros. As you can see, I've allowed my sweet plantain to get really, really nice and ripe. You see that the skin is very, very dark. That's gonna ensure that we have a nice, sweet banana. Now we'll simply cut our plantains down the middle and then we'll cut each strip into about four pieces. We want thin pieces of maduro in our empanadilla de pastelón. We don't want big, thick pieces. I like for there to be a little bit of everything and every bite and nothing to be overpowering. Now we're gonna chop up some veggies for our ground beef meat mixture. And I'm chopping up some red onion and some sweet red peppers. After we've cut our sweet plantain into pieces, it's time to fry. And I'm gonna fry mine in my deep fryer for about four or five minutes at 350 degrees. Now that our ground beef has been cooking for a few minutes, I've drained it and it's time to add the veggies. So I add in our red onion and sweet red peppers. Don't forget about the garlic. As we take a peek of our maduros that are frying, you can see that they're starting to caramelize and get beautiful crispy brown edges, which is what we want. They're close to being done. Next, we're gonna chop up some fresh cilantro and add it to our ground beef meat mixture. The saltiness of the olives, along with the savoriness of the meat, are gonna play so well with the sweet plantain in this dish. Now it's time to add a couple tablespoons of my homemade sofrito. You know I never do anything without it. Next, I add one package of sazon, some tomato sauce, and a little bit of water. After about five minutes, this is what my maduros look like. They are perfect, golden, crispy, and ready. To assemble my empanadilla de pastelón, I lay the disc flat in front of me and I add my first layer of cheese, which I'm using Munster cheese on the bottom. I now add a couple of pieces of our fried sweet plantain. Next, we add a couple tablespoons of our savory meat mixture and don't be skimpy with the meat. Now we top with our second cheese and I'm using a creamy Havarti but you can choose whatever kind of cheeses you like. You know I won't be mad at you. After folding over, we line the edges together, press down with our fingers to make sure that it's sealed, and then we crimp down with a fork. Let's make another one. There we have our cheese, followed by our sweet plantain then our meat, and then we top it with cheese again. Now we fold our empanadilla over 
and I like to line the inner edges with water to help it seal properly. And there you have it. Now it's time for us to fry our empanadillas de pastelón. And I have my deep fryer set at 350 degrees and I'm gonna add two empanadillas to each of my baskets. So I'll be cooking four at a time. And these will cook for about three minutes. Everything is already cooked. So what we're looking for is for our empanadilla to be flaky, golden, and crunchy. After about three and a half minutes of frying, I pulled out our empanadillas and oh my goodness, look at how amazing these guys look. I cannot wait for you to try this. Okay, everyone, we are back. Our empanadillas or pastelillos de pastelón are done. It smells glorious in this kitchen and I'm so excited to give these a try. Now you can top these with um, some garlic mojito sauce or some mayo ketchup. Um, I'm just gonna try them plain for, for today. Wow, it's really hot. There we go. This tastes just like the pastelon. Sweet, savory, cheesy, gooey, and all wrapped in this beautiful crunchy pastry. This is so bomb. Oh, look inside. These empanadillas de pastelon are everything. You definitely want to try them if you've never had them. This is a perfect anytime snack. I guarantee you will absolutely love them. Mm, mm, mm. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of At The D Spot. I'm Danny and remember, be good to one another. We're all connected. Till next time. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.